Okay, here's question number one and two um, from the percent of a number review. That's what I think it was called. Okay, so we talked about um, in class last week that these problems were going to do part over whole equals percent out of 100. Okay, so 45% of 60. This is our whole. I know my arm's probably in your way. Okay, that's our whole. Another way you could look at it, I know years ago and when I was in school, we did is over of equals percent out of 100. Okay, so, so the of or of 60, that's your whole, that's your whole group. So we make a proportion, we're gonna put 60 on the bottom, and then the 45%, that's your percent out of 100. So make that equal to 45 out of 100. Okay, so I tell my students, look at what you know. Like we know the two bottom numbers. Um, look to see if there's anything like 60 times anything that will give you 100, but that doesn't work. There's nothing 60 times anything that will give you 100. So if you simplify this fraction, you can find something that will usually work. All right, so 45 and 100 are both multiples of five. So I can divide them both by five, simplifying this fraction. And that fraction came from the percent, percent out of 100, 45%. All right, so 45 divided by five is nine. So I'm gonna slash the 45 and put a nine in its place. 100 divided by five is 20. So I'm gonna slash that and put a 20 in its place. Now, when I do that, and I look at 20 and 60, I, there's a relationship there. Like I can multiply times three, um, and whatever you do to the bottom, you can do to the top. Times three, nine times three is 27. So 27 is your answer. And there's lots of different ways you can do these math problems, but I'm trying to keep it consistent with what we learned about ratios. All right, the second question. So the of number, that's your whole group. So that's gonna be, it's gonna be out of 160. And then 60%, 60% 60 out of 100. So we're setting it up as a proportion. We're just trying to solve what that number is right there. So there's nothing 160 and 100. You can't multiply or divide by anything down here. So I'm gonna simplify this fraction. That's what I tell all my students. Like, see if you can simplify that fraction, to see if it makes it easier. So both of these will divide by 10. We'll also divide by 20, but 10 is actually easier on this one. 60 divided by 10 is 6. I'm going to slash that out and put a 6. 100 divided by 10 is 10. Slash that and I'm going to put a 10. So now I've got 6 tenths instead of 60 out of 100. Now if I look at this relationship, 10 times 16 is 160. So I'm going to multiply um, 6 times 16. I don't really know that. Actually, I do now because I've done this problem like five times a day. But anyway, 6 times 6 is 36, and 6 times 1 is 6 plus 3 is 9. So the answer is 96. So we're setting up a proportion. Part over whole equals percent over 100. We On all the questions today, we didn't know the part, but we knew the whole. Um, see if something will multiply, if it won't simplify this fraction, and then see if you can find something that multiplies. And do the same thing to the top that you did to the bottom. Okay, let me know if that doesn't help and I will send something else.